Hey everyone, welcome back to SW Outdoors. Today I'm with my dog Leo and we're out enjoying another nice day. We're gonna be doing some hot tent camping on this small island and I also plan on getting out and doing some ice fishing. The wind's starting to pick up so I'm gonna work on getting set up so we can enjoy the rest of the afternoon. There's not really a lot of options for level ground on this island but this is the best spot so I'm just going to clear some of this light snow off. really helps with condensation when it melts in the tent so I'm going to get rid of this and get the hot tent set up. I have a couple different stakes here. I got some aluminum ones that came with the tent. And I also have some heavy duty steel stakes. So if I can't get the aluminum ones in the ground, I'll have to use these. Ground's not completely froze. The hardest part to setting this tent up is getting this cap on because you have to hold the pole up. Otherwise, if you set it up all the way, it's too hard to reach. So I usually just hold the pole with one arm and get these clipped in. Probably gonna be pretty windy here tonight, so I'm gonna put all the stakes in. There's some shock cord here, and that'll just help give these panels a little extra strength.
tent and stove set up. I'm just going to unload this sled and go get some firewood. The wind's really starting to pick up now. It's time to go get some firewood. I'm just going to follow the shoreline behind me here and see what I can find for some dead standing wood. There's not much dead hardwood around here, so this white pine will be good enough for tonight. Good boy. I got Leo tied off to a piece of bank line here while I cut that tree down just so he doesn't get hurt. This should be plenty of firewood. I'm gonna keep this little splitting block to make some kindling back at the tent. And we should be good to go. Running out of room. I took the poles right off the pole so I could get it inside the tent here to make unloading it a little easier. As I'm unloading this, I'm keeping my eyes out for any straight grain, 
pieces without knots because they're much easier to split and turn into kindling. So I just keep those and set them aside. You getting hungry? You want some food? You starting to get hungry? Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Leo was just having some lunch and I'm gonna get my chair together here. It's already after three o'clock, so I'm gonna have a quick snack and we're gonna try doing some ice fishing. I've never fished this lake before, so I have no idea what to expect, but the DNR website says there's crappie and bluegill and some other panfish, so we'll give it a shot. like I'm having a cheese stick and some jerky. It's a little froze already. just playing some fetch for a few minutes and then we're gonna head out on the ice and try to catch some fish. According to my lake map, this should be about 24 feet of water. The max depth of this lake is around 30. So I'm gonna start here and see what happens. Well, bass. That means there's fish in here. Not having any luck on this side of the lake. 
I think I might try over on the other side where it's a little bit deeper. I'm gonna try some fake wax worms here. There is some crappies in here. Look at that one. There you go. <laughs> Leo sees my auger laying over on the ice and he thinks it's an animal or something so he's wolfing at it. It's okay, it's just my auger. I ended up with two decent crappies. It would have been nice getting a third one but Leo's getting cold. So I'm gonna get these fish cleaned up and we're gonna head back to the hot tent. We're a ways from camp, so I just cleared a spot on the ice to clean the fish. Before we head up to the hot tent, I'm gonna drill a hole for some drinking water. Time to get a fire started and get warmed up. A little spot for Leo to lay down here. Yeah, it's getting cold out there, wasn't it? Are you warming up? Yeah. I'm just getting some water boiled so we have some drinking water and it's warming up nice in here. Time to start losing a few layers. Just getting out of my snow pants and boots and get my bath and slippers on. Not the most stylish, but definitely high in comfort rating. Leo's finally getting settled down. He's laying in his bed. I'm just having some tea and relaxing for a little bit before I start cooking some dinner. I got the four crappie fillets and a mushroom flavor rice and pasta mix here for a side. My frying oil turned to gel. I'll have to thaw that out by the wood stove for a little bit.
so. Got a nice dinner here. Let's try this crappie. It's really good. Oh man, that's awesome. Even this rice pasta blend is really good. I'm full now. That was a really good dinner. Time for some hot chocolate. It's already past 10 o'clock, so after I finish this, I'm gonna work on getting my bed set up. And probably call it a night. I got my bed all ready and Leo's already sleeping so I'm gonna call a night and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Me and Leo slept good last night. We're just getting up now. And I'm gonna work on getting some breakfast going. I didn't make it very far on breakfast. Leo is ready to play, so I'm gonna play with him for a little bit and I'll continue breakfast after. Leo's out eating his breakfast, so I'm gonna start on mine now. Just gonna do some pancakes and eggs and have a little tea to go with it.
All right, got a couple pancakes, some eggs, and some maple syrup. Pretty tasty. Wasn't sure how the pancakes were going to turn out. All I had was hot water from the kettle to make the batter, but they're pretty good. It was a really nice breakfast. Time to get my warm stuff on and start packing some stuff up. Actually burned quite a bit of that pine. That's all I got left. Steaks are really frozen in the ground this morning. I was able to get all my steaks out except for this one that I broke off. So I'm definitely going to be getting some more of these heavy duty steel steaks. They're heavy but they're a lot easier to get out of the ground when it's froze. All right, we're all packed up, ready to head out. 
hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.